Assalamu alaikum and thank you very much, Hyderabad, once again. Uh, uh, you've gathered here in such large numbers and with so much patience uh, on behalf of uh, the whole team of Dawn 2, that is Farhan, who's not here, Lara, Priyanka, Bauman, Ali, and the rest of the crew who've been traveling actually across other cities. Uh, and of course, Ritesh, uh, who's the producer of the film. I just want to uh, tell you that every time I come here, this is, uh, like I always say, the city where my mother was brought up. So it's a very special place for me. And I always feel very thrilled coming here and seeing all the developments. So I thank, uh, uh, you know, Cinemax and, uh, of course, Reliance for helping us out with this film. And we hope that we can bring to you a film uh, which you'll all enjoy and like and uh, uh, have a good Christmas and a new year with. So thank you and... Uh, Thanks for the warm welcome again. It's, it's a very different film and uh, uh, perhaps the first time ever that we are making a sequel to a bad man or a villain, uh, so to say. And uh, to be really honest, this is a kind of a character which has no uh, redeeming quality or justification for his actions. And uh, he's just totally bad. He's evil. So what we have tried to do is uh, uh, show you a story from the point of view of a bad person, an evil person. And of course, he's uh, meaner, leaner, cooler, more stylish, sexier, faster, smarter than he was in the first film. And uh, that is something, if you can rise above uh, judging the film morally, that, uh, oh, why are we uh, showing a bad guy do so well? If you can uh, go beyond that, which I think the new audience, the younger people and everyone, all of us accept films like that now, uh, then you will really enjoy this journey that Dawn takes you on. It's a more character-driven film. And it's a very smart film, uh, you know, and uh, amazing action which has been shot in Germany and Malaysia and in India, some of it. And uh, some really uh, different uh, screenplay technique that Farhan has used. So hopefully it will uh, be a new experience and uh, for people, uh, boys who like bad boys, they will like the film. And girls who like bad boys, they'll also like the film. <laughs> but uh, uh, they know actually I'm not a bad guy, I'm just playing a role. Uh, and yes, you're right, this one has no justification, it has no redeem redeeming quality, it is not... Uh, uh, you know, I, I believe that the world and all of us also, we have a little good in us and a little bad in us. How we are brought up, the things we do, most of the time we curb the bad in us. And, uh, you know, as an actor sometimes I feel uh, a little restricted that I'm only to play good guys. My friends, family, everyone tells me, oh, little children like you and girls like you, mothers like you, so you should always play a good guy. So, but once in a way as an actor you feel, no, you know, let me just uh, throw caution to the winds and give it a shot. So yeah, Don is uh, quite a bad guy, but I don't know if it's right to say or not, but when you'll see him, you'll kind of like him. I hope nobody wants to be like him. I don't encourage anyone to be him, but I think for good to exist in the world, there has to be an evil side. And Don is all evil, you know, like if you see a film like Silence of the Lambs or um, I like to say more childlike, jungle books, car, the snake. Uh, you know, the devil is very mesmerizing and hypnotizing. So Dawn is like that, that you know, you don't know whether you should like him or hate him because he's so bad or like him because he's so slick and smart. So I think um, we'll have to wait and watch, but I think people will like it. I was uh, adopted by my grandmother because they didn't have a, um, I think, a boy in their family at that time. So when I was born to my mother, they uh, adopted me and, uh, and they, were, they, they used to live in uh, Hyderabad in Toli Choki. So I spent about uh, <laughs> yeah, so I, uh, four years of my life I was here. And then they shifted to Bangalore uh, and uh, the Mangalore port. So I was shifted there. And then my mother missed me. So she got me back to Delhi and took me back from her mother. So I have spent... Uh, so my mother's house is here. And uh, my whole uh, mother's uh, side of the family stays here. And I don't get time to visit them because either I come for a film or a function or the cricket matches. So I just come in and I rush out, but uh, I think when my kids uh, grow up a little more, I'd like to bring them here and introduce them to the whole family and to... Uh, and it's been a long time since I've seen Charmina. You know, I remember when I was younger, we always used to go to the Charmina because uh, there was... A, but now Hyderabad has so many more other beautiful places to look at. And every time I come now, the airport is so far off, it looks like you're going to another city. So it's changed so much. Uh, but I think uh, I have this little Hyderabadi in me. And uh, you know what, what, what do you say, khatti dal and uh, biryani <laughs> and uh, yeah, halim and also I, my mother used to cook it. So I have, I have very fond memories and even my summer holidays used to be spent in Hyderabad till my parents were alive. So I have very fond memories of Hyderabad and I feel very attached and uh, as soon as I land here, I do call my family and say, you know, I've come to the city of my mom 
and people here have been very kind to me every time I've come. So uh, it's very special to be here. What is the one dish that you'd love to dig into when you when you in Hyderabad? I mean, you know, it's it, it, it's it's like cliche to have biryani here. So I like the biryani. I mean, you can't beat the biryani that you get here. And uh, I I don't remember the place when I'm shooting in Ramoji Rao. Then there's a friend of mine, uh, Dr. Ali, uh, who's in Mumbai. Then he sends his friend and he makes some special biryani. And I don't know where it is brought from, but apparently it's very famous in Hyderabad. I forget the name. Uh, but they bring it to Ramoji Rao every night and I have it here. Yeah. Hi. Um, I think Telugu and Tamil, I think the markets for Hindi movies are growing. And if you have a film like Dawn, which I remember when we released Dawn 1, a lot of people at that point were also asking us, why didn't we dub the film? And we had an offer to remake the film in Tamil and Telugu. So this time when we decided, and I think uh, Shah Rukh did it for RA1, there were some other films also which have done that. So I think uh, it's the kind of film which uh, I think uh, le I mean will be accepted even in these regional languages. And also 3D, I think the market for 3D in uh, this country has grown with technology where it is. And the people, um, the audience want to see their big stars up close uh, in the 3D format. The market is growing, so I thought, I mean, it would be interesting to do Dawn in 3D.